Alright. Welcome back. Someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing, then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Cooker is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'll start to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooper is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. The enhancer, okay. No scratches, right? Thank me later. Anything else? Ooh, that looks cool. Look at that blade. Well, wait for the upgrade. Maybe the upgrade's better. Seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Cooper is dead. He... Oh, my. Can you really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates, after Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is 
almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. And Joshua. Others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake. Like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A bringer of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself or merely another projection of its power, I know not. The latter. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Right. <coughs> Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. this wall of memories all right the oath all oh, these are our quarters Troops amassing at every border crossing. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told to everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. <coughs> I should. <clears throat> I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father prayer. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Oh, we're gonna see Sid. Oh, I get it. Sid. Sidolphus. Mid. It stands for something. Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. 
Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal. <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those okay. things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old cry. <coughs> God damn I'll it. open you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts mechan. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. Okay. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. Okay. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plate in. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it nor tell of him. Luckily, you don't need to. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? How would it? It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. Spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. for but I can make it won't be easy though and I'll need help get Gavin Otto in here will you all right so Mids roped us all in here again is she why do we need a vessel still if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. No, and maybe. the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, we can get this over with. You going after?
to the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? I never fought with Gav before, so let's go. <clears throat> I Gav, think. You're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this Stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dallamill. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off out of paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn's supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. In your own time. <clears throat> Should I? The most fragrant herbs and spices. Oh, Come on, just like that. And without so much as a bar, oh, you'll leave. What's the matter? Fuck it, let's do it. Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers. I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. All right. Oh, 
No. Okay, an actual challenge.
Oh, so close. <coughs> Fuck. Okay. Let's go. That one's a tough one. <clears throat> Mainly because he was seven levels up. <clears throat> Those who kill for sport deserve no better. <laughs> All right. The baker's assistant might have been dead because of that guy. Just saying. Oh, what 
the fuck? Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? I'm certainly not a baker. Master must have ruled the day, took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you missed the mother crystal. I hated her, but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. But I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Oh, shit. Um... Express yourself. Remember the good times. Focus on your work. I don't know. Express yourself. Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Recapture it? I'm a baker, not a... You know, you might just be right. What a fool I've been! I have to get back to the bakery right away. Thank you. Thank oh. you, my friend. You have opened my eyes. I was going to make Wait. some artsy kind of, you know. Suppose he won't be needing an escort then. a fire under my wayward apprentice <laughs> though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high he damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven master it's ready behold the Drake's balm a truly unique creation I dare say it is <laughs> just look at it a perfect likeness of the fang herself do not look that pits, bad. Her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the fang without her crater? Why, no fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> uh, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. Now, Dusan, I know you're keen, but do you have to use the good salt? Please. Sorry, master. It would the be finest fun. fabrics, fresh from the capital. The 
Looks like I found the river. Oh, where's Gav? This Gav guy is always high. Oh, there he is. to keep you gav better late than never i've had a quick scout about and i reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can don't know what blackthorn's planning to do with it though i asked over in dalamil and they seem to think it was worthless but if stardust is what blackthorn wants stardust is what he'll get there's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. So this is Stardust. Just looks like black sand to me. Where's the last one? Oh. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, you win. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. Oh, we would have had, like, a conversation with Otto. You keep sending me wherever you need to. If we picked him. And I'll keep going. Another filler episode. Save from the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you.
shite. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? After it. Minadol, Telamon. Okay. There's a side mission over here, but let's check. Let's check this out first. I hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the Stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beat sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. He cracked the crystal too. You're joking. started reading books that don't have any pictures in. This hideaway is a maze, I swear. If I don't come up with something soon... You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent! One down, two to go. So... What's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. 
What's her name? Right. Hey, what's her name? Oh, Sid. Is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine, in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far okay. above anything we I'm, are able I'm, to make I'm today. Lost. And not only that, they're also <laughs> waterproof and immune Duh. to rust, making them the perfect material Duh. for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor <clears> proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. <laughs> Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass uh -huh. near Lost Wing. The thing How convenient. Is, I was well, about to get I there. I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here I sooner. Think. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um going to be considerably more dangerous than that i see then i suppose i'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you would that help oh very much thank you sid i'll gather my team and head there right away we'll meet you outside the ruins expecting you back so soon is everything we've received and everything promised yours you earned this all yours you earned this how may I help you today Clive all done how are you doing quick look Ooh, okay. Combo damage. Right, right. 
Let's go. Good day to you. Sid. Clive, your timing is exquisite as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or... It may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Sure. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right. I will. See what the people of the village have to say. I'd better find out if this is just nerves or something we need to take more seriously. You're right, Sid. Something on your mind? There is actually. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? No, sorry, can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but none of them have seen anything either. All right. Thanks anyway. <gasps> You're quite talented with that rod of yours. Pause. Do you have a moment? There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? in Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it, screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me, and I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Seems Lorbert's Pass is our best bet then. What do you say, Torval? Shall we go and investigate? Work. seen us. Get them before they escape. Black Shields, here. What the hell are you doing here? What is it to you? Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. I'll see you about that. Uh
Come on, swing. Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Yeah, I was wondering who. I thought because they were still dead. under Sandbrek. The former Lord Chief Justice of Sandbrek. Oh. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world. I swore to fight it, and fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered, and he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones, my livelihood, my position, the faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. 
but the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection, and so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades, and our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Oh shit. Wait. Ready for war. <clears throat> I guess for the next time. I'm not going to change his mind. That his lordship's vultures should be found circling the village can mean only one thing. That he means to strike at us before we can strike at him. There is no time to lose. The final stage of our plan must be put into motion. Alright. I'll see to it after... After I find my way there. If you're ready, we leave at once. Nope. You deserve a rest. There you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Left. This must be our unwanted visitor. 
Time to go. Things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Increases strength tonic. Nah, we don't use tonics. <clears throat> How feel good, boy. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shielding. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. 
or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight, and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains, and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. God damn. We're just running back and forth. Let's get to some action. Come on. We're seeing troops amassing at every border across the Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? Oh, it's the she fucking turtle from Elden Ring. For the materials. I think. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside. His we voice sounds cool so familiar. The outside, not to set the ship alight. It's the While turtle. Also being light enough I'm pretty not sure. to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the Dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obolus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. <coughs> the knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure 
Either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Oh, really? I get to choose? So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? I've never been with Tarya yet, so let's go. All right. So, what are we fetching? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. Garlic? Conch shells? Are you sure this is the right list? Looks like the ingredients for someone's supper. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Well, isn't that convenient? I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. Stay safe. See you later, Clive. Good luck with your research. <coughs> oh, this is letting off steam. It says so in the quest. The known things to see. visited. The man who was that your really Sid's uncle? Let's change the music. Barely hear it. The fucking train in the background. Can I upgrade my sword? Back here, yeah. What'd you want? What'd you want? Stone plus one, no. Oh, wow. It last you a good while. Anything else? Ooh, look at that. Looks like a, a long sword from uh, Monster Hunter. Up on these. You spoiling. There you are, Talia. Ah, and there you are. We shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a place like this. But if time is of the essence, perhaps we should split up. Take a few items each. All right. What shall I look for? Let's see now. Why don't you take the garlic and the pepio nuts? Meet me by the gate when you've got them. Now this is the filler episode. Oi, don't touch anything. If that's what you want. There's two. 
How the hell is anyone supposed to afford that kind of thing? You haven't much, but you're free to look. I trust it's all here. That should do it. Hopefully Ty is finished too. Well, did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job done. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. But we're not in too much of a rush, are we? Quick chat. Do you know, I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. Yep. I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. For shame. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse to pay the prices these gougers charge. I'll ask Karen when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got back. Has it really been five years? I remember it as if it was yesterday. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Tyre. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us well, you still do. It's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? Hmm. But in the spirit of sharing and caring... ...you're appreciated too. By all of us. That was awfully close. Six feet. Well, I think we've tarried long enough. I ought to get these ingredients back to Tom so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway, all right? All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin.
You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway. Under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive. It was good to talk. We should do it again sometime. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Arbocrates. Give me the good news then. He cracked the crystal too. here and then left. What do you need? So what it be? <laughs> My best work, but it'll do. Hasn't been her usual self. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. Why would anyone want to do that? True. That's true, kid. True, 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 true. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. You'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it? In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. The leader that's to also the, Black Hammer. the Aaron boy, Lamau. <clears throat> you know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. 
I'll take care of the rest. On my way! Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Sometime later. Right. <laughs> cool. That must be the shield. Right? It's finished. It's finally finished. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean. God damn it. <laughs> don't worry. Make now me they've fetch got all that. One to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? I thought I was gonna make me do it three more times. What's the matter? Let's go Nothing. see your father. Just daydreaming. Let's go see Sid. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. Uh -huh. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want it to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod huh. our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? Yeah, let's go. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Eat it in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Mid told me she was building a ship. Really? That's a ship? Let's sail it around the lake. <laughs> That's a ship. That's a weird looking ship. Right, Clive. Astrid. Mid finished sending half the hideaway traits in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said Watch that. her just run away. In those words. She did, yes. She ran away. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Is that the thing Times helped you do? Obelith, <laughs> have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, 
going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelus. Okay. Don't mention it. What does Byron want? My tidings, uncle. My dear boy, my journey to Canber has a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the on of the goings on in the free cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise. Okay, I doubt the Cambrian authorities will will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dark guards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guild masters are ra ra rapping at our door. Which is why I read you this pen. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep a watch on those who might mean a little fellowship ill and warn us of any impending attack i trust that you will give uh, you will give this proposal your full consideration okay Okay. Troubling <coughs> Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in and all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> Good right. times. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Yeah, okay. What else? I thought... Didn't we already kill the person that we needed to kill? Or she did? The... Iron Forge guy? Right here somewhere? I don't know. Sid's legacy. Oh, it's literally like... really close
Sid. I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Mm. Not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Gang's all here. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And Ooh. soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. We got closer. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. Okay. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. True. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> man. Stop that. You'll break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad Market. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And... Glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad! Get off! It <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Oh, the gang is back together. Did you see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. <laughs> the 
crystalline dominion which is over here <clears throat> I think we're gonna travel along I don't know, take the boat take the seas or are we going around this shit will be interesting But I feel like I got to do that tomorrow because it's 3 a.m. So peace.